Well, truckers are the heartbeat of the supply chain. They're, they're how you get your groceries, you get your medications, your essential household items, and so much more. But now it appears big tech is silencing them and disrupting deliveries, all because they say they are exercising their right to choose whether or not to get a vaccine. Perhaps you've been following uh, these protests that have been happening, this convoy. Uh, Jeremy Johnson joining us in his rig in Missouri live now. Uh, and Brian Brace are two U.S. truckers and co-founders of the Convoy to D.C. 2022. Uh, Jeremy, we've all seen you there in your big rig, and thanks so much for joining us. Brian, it looks like uh, you're snowed in. Tell me about that. Where are you? What happened? I'm in northwest Ohio. We just were under a winter storm warning and, and really didn't know how, how bad the roads were going to get. I'm fortunate enough to work for a uh, small mom-and-pop company that we have some flexibility to be able to park trucks and avoid uh, moving around in inclement weather like this, you know, but, just and as safe as we can be. Absolutely. A, a big storm moving through major parts of the country, but it doesn't stop your, one of your main missions right now. Um, so let's get right to it. Um, and, and I'll start with Jeremy, if I can. Uh, you're extending what is being dubbed as the rallying cry of Canadian truckers. They're protesting vaccine mandates. But big tech, Facebook specifically silencing your message, Jeremy, uh, if I'll start with you, what happened? Are they really silencing you? Did they take your Facebook page down? Yeah, yeah, they did. Uh, not only did they take our, our group Facebook, uh, Convoy to DC 2022, but they wiped out numerous personal accounts uh, and accused us of spreading propaganda associated with QAnon uh, in a... In the fact of the matter is, is we don't have anything posted about QAnon on any of our personal pages. And there might have been some uh, comments made under some comments on the group that I can't control what other people comment. We can try to moderate the best we can. But when you have 130,000 people on there, it's pretty difficult to do, especially when you're trying to plan uh, a freedom convoy all the way across the United States. And uh, Brian, hearing about that, um, you know, this is, uh, this is a way to, to, to reach out on various platforms and to gather more people. Um, clearly, as Jeremy was sharing, that Facebook account being taken down, 100,000 followers there. Um, I spoke with a trucker yesterday on the show, and he told me essentially this whole thing is about freedom. Um, what is it about for you, Brian? Well, the same thing, really. You know, um our constitutional rights as Americans, of course, uh, we, we believe that it's a violation of, of, of our constitutional rights as Americans. But on a human level, uh, to me and, and, and to many people, I think, across the country, across the globe, believe that it's a it's a human rights violation. Um, you know, we're not anti-vax. We're not far right, far left or none of that stuff that they trying to pin us or, or loop us in. We're just human beings that believe in our right to choose. You know, if you want the vaccine, go get the vaccine. We encourage you. But people losing their jobs over their health care, over their personal health decisions. Um, it, it, like I said, it's a it, it's a violation of, of basic human rights or as some would call it, your God given rights, not just your constitutional rights. It, it's on the human scale. Uh, GoFundMe recently froze um, a, a Freedom Convoy page. Um, they were raising money for the truckers there. I believe they got to 10 million bucks. Um, your thoughts on that before we go, Jeremy? The, the censorship that we're witnessing uh, worldwide uh, is unbelievable. And, and as a matter of fact, I got in touch with human rights attorney Lee Dundas from uh, the freedomfighternation.org. And she's very well aware of what's going on. And, and so are many other attorneys. And uh, I am in talks with other attorneys and we will be uh, um, filing suit against some of these uh, people that are, are trying to censor us. All right. We'll leave it right there. Uh, best to Jeremy Johnson, Brian Brace. Your time is well appreciated. Brian, best of luck, by the way, being snowed in. I hope you're uh, able to get back out there on the roadways. I know you want to. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right.